So I made my own list so I can just select whatever I want to and yes, you have seen correctly, there's a portal. You can shoot portals, you can use portals. And now let's replace it with the code of this hedgehog and let's see if we can be the hedgehog. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a new episode of Pekka Kana 2. Well, this time a kind of different episode because in this episode we're gonna change our dawdle into various items, we're gonna change our character and much more so stay tuned. So I would say first of all we start with our doddle, which is the code right here. This is the code for being empty handed which like when you don't when you don't have any weapon equipped. But now if you guys think hmm, how did I find out about this code? Well, you join for example this first level, this training course and then up here you do an oh wait. You do an unknown initial value first scan. Because you don't know the value which you are going for, you have no clue what is the value. And then after that you're gonna select for example that weapon right next to Pekka, this weapon you're gonna select and then you do a change scan. Then you're gonna leave this level, you're gonna re rejoin the level and then again you do a change scan, again collect the weapon, change scan and so on. And in the end if you are, if you again rejoin the level and you don't, you are not equipped with any level, you will have this code. So this is the code for being empty handed. So let's see what happens if we're gonna select this weapon. Well, it changes into a 22, the normal doddle. Um, so maybe this is an items list. You guys are thinking, okay, then let's go for zero. What happens if we, oh, if we select zero, we have a pecker and we can shoot peckers all over the screen, which is pretty cool. And of course, at least there are 22 items. So let's go for five, for example. We have a small chicken. Um, I needed this enemy later on, thanks. <laughs> and um, I, I um, went through all the lists, so I made my own list, so I can just select whatever I want to. And yes, you have seen correctly, there's a portal. You can shoot portals. You can use portals. And you can go all over the game, like that. And now you might think, oh my god, this is crazy, I can use portals in every level, I can port myself everywhere. Well, it's not that simple because the codes for each particular level are different in each level. Means, for example, in the last level, in the boss level, and let's say you want to shoot bosses or his minions, this codes which you're gonna have in that level, if you come back to this level and you think, haha, I want to shoot bosses now, well, this won't work because this code either way might be, let's say you use that boss code in this level, then you might shoot a chicken or you might shoot a hedgehog. This is different again or the game might even crash. So it means you can only use this, the items which exist in this level in this level. Which is uh, a little bit sad, I, I really wanted to shoot bosses all over the screen, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? Well, this is the way you're gonna change your weapon. Um, I was just... Um, <laughs> just by mistake, I found out all the codes for each level. And the way I did that, I will show in the end of this video, so stay tuned. Now we want to change our character, right? And we change our character by using our health. You heard correctly, by using our health. And I went, I already put our health right here. We have three HP now. So now I want to get hit, but this army of Pekka's already killed the enemy. Do we have an enemy? Oh no, this was... If I rem re uh, remember correctly, there are only two enemies in this stage, right? Did you kill... Oh, here. Let's get hit. Oh, I'm dumb. I wanted to do a right click, find out what writes to this address. This we have to do first, of course, my mistake. And then get hit. Just change this back to 3, so... Oops. Change this back to 3. Where's my list? Hello? Here. We want this address to be shown in the disassembler. And up here we do a right click and we want to find out what addresses this instruction accesses means. Um, if we shoot an enemy now, this address will pop up right here. If we get attacked by an enemy, this also will pop up here. Or if our minions which we shoot with our daughter, if they get killed or kill an enemy, this addresses will also pop up right in this list. So let's see. If we did everything correctly, wait, we have to change our doddle first. We, we are equipped with a portal. We don't need a portal right now. Can I somehow begin? Okay. 
Um, <laughs> a doddle is right here. We want a. Let's kill him with a normal doddle. So we don't get confused later on. Now I need my list. Where is my list? The list is right here. Now we get hit. This is our health. And let's shoot him. And this is the Hedgehog's HP. And if we browse this in the memory region, let's open the memory region. This is this right here. But we can just see zeros, Fs. So display type has to be 4 byte decimal. And if we put this into a 1, the Hedgehog should come back to life. Which works, he's back to life. He can still hit us. Okay, perfect. And now if you think about it, if this is the HP of the Hedgehog, somewhere around here should be the code for the sprites to look like the Hedgehog, right? So let's. So I went and I was searching for the code. <laughs> yeah, lots of codes. Well, hmm. let's watch our code. Our character's code is right here. <laughs> okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is like 8 numbers long. Let's look for a code right here, which is like 8 numbers long, which is close to this one, this Hedgehog's life. And then if you just go 1, 2, 3 steps up, you're gonna find this code. Let's copy this code. It's also 8 digits long. Let's copy this code. Go to... Can't see anything. Can you... Where's my cheat engine? Okay, way too many screens. Our character, and now let's replace it with the code of this hedgehog and let's see if we can be the hedgehog. And there you go, we are the hedgehog, we can play as a hedgehog. This is the first method how you're gonna find out about why do you have to kill my hedgehog which I need for this tutorial video, stupid pecker, I want to kill you right now. <laughs> and the way this you can do with all the other um, characters in this level as well. You, you can you can play as a chicken, you can play as a hen, you can also play as the butterfly, but the problem is with the butterfly that you're just gonna be soaked into the ground. Like you cannot fly, which I don't know which is causing this to happen. Maybe it's because you can you cannot play as a butterfly, but I also used the same method in the, se in the second world where you can fly around as a bird. And if you change yourself into a bird immediately, you cannot fly. You are just soaked into the ground, which I don't know what this, which is causing this problem. I don't know. Maybe I have to get more into the game to find out about that. Okay, so well, this is how we change our doddle, how we change our character. And then we also have items, right? Let's go back to our cheat engine. We also have items. Um, Maybe you have seen it in my list already that you can select a doddle which will equip us which with items. Hello? Normal doddle? I don't want the normal doddle. I want the items doddle. Items doddle. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I want the presents. Sorry. This one. <laughs> Let's say I want the present with the flowers, right? Okay. Let's equip ourselves with some presents. Now we have like four presents. And the thing is, down about the items, this is the same which you which I did with the weapon and the and the um, character. The same method, you do an unknown first scan, and then you have you collect some items, you use them, then it's again changed, again you collect some items, it's again changed, then maybe you just run around, you do an unchanged, again you select one item or you use one item, it's again changed, and like this you're gonna find also this items code. Um, this is the items amount I have for, for um, flowers right now, I have four flowers equipped, um, and also Let's browse to this memory region. We have four items, right? Let's change this one into the Hedgehog. And we can put an Hedgehog into the stage which will kill us. Um, if you shoot Hedgehogs with the help of your Doddle, um, I believe that um, then they're not gonna harm you or your chickens which you have let's call it produced 
and yeah like this i was uh, like this you're gonna also change the items in your item box but you i i i I'm, i think you will get the idea what i'm going here for right and the thing is the funny thing is sometimes if you mess around with cheat engine like this and you you fly around you're going to look for codes so you can run faster and all this kind of stuff and sometimes you're going to find something which is quite of interest this now it's all zeros right you see for now i come to the point where i explain you how i find how i found out all the codes for all doddles in each level like you can do it like i just did then you go from one one is the normal doddle two is pekka three is the chicken four is like I don't know, on Hedgehog and so on, but I told you that these codes always change, right? And it's like, sorry for the strong language, but it's a pain in the ass to always search all these codes in every level. But now, now comes the point where it's funny to use cheat engine sometimes. Um, I've seen this for zeros, then I was thinking, yeah, okay, this is for each item, okay. So what is the zero for? What happens, uh, because... Uh, 18 is the number in your doddle to shoot a headshot. What happens if I put 18 right here? As you see, right here, all the codes popped up right now for the first level. Zero, so you, that you guys understand what I'm, what I'm going for here. Zero is Pekka and up here in the list. Oh, it's not showing my, my cursor, but up here in the list, right here on the left side. It's saying rooster. Rooster means it's Pekka, right? Let's just see. Um, gift. Six is gift. Feather. Is six the gift for the feather? Hmm. Is it a feather? Well, yes, it is. And like this, you can see all the items in every level. And now... Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do now is, I guess, um, I'm gonna go in every level, I, I will of course um, pass forward this process, I will go in every level, I will put all the codes um, for each level here, so if you don't want to do all this process, you can just do, um, you can just use the codes which I'm gonna show you for each level, and you're gonna mess around with it, you can enjoy using them, and guys, if you want to have my... Um, if you want to have my cheat engine with all these codes and you don't want to do it, you want to just use these codes, um, just leave a comment below, I might share it if you really want it, but if not, I mean, it's kind of simple, I, I showed you all the codes now, what you have to scan for, it's pretty simple to do it yourself, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, let's see, I think next time I will keep on playing with the Snowmia, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, it's kind of different. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.